Alright, All right, so this is game. Uh, both of these players are no stranger to this matchup. Uh, I've seen Austin do some, some crazy things against him. Really good oh my god. Game. He's about as good at this matchup as you can get. Yeah. If those drill shines are going to be as crispy as they were there, including wave shining as well. Oh, it's probably going to get even better. Yeah, it's going to be really tough for BMT. <laughs> Yeah, he's also got to adapt to a, a completely new style, plus like a completely new level of Fox, right? Like, we got some talented Fox, don't get me wrong, but like... No one on Red's level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's safe to say. Not yet. Anyway. Yeah. Getting there. Little by little. Red opting for single... I sort of like the decision to opt for single lasers, because it gives him a little bit more mobility when shooting lasers, and it doesn't necessarily lock him down into getting in that rhythm. Yeah. You know, you can shoot a couple lasers back off. Because one of P so turnips are an amazing projectile, but the one maybe two projectiles that are sort of better in this matchup are lasers. Like Peach, obviously a turnip against like Marth or Sheik is amazing, but right. Peach going for turnip pulls and going for turnip play against oh. Fox is not good, and that's actually going to cost him stock. Yeah, yeah, he definitely. Wow, did. that was a huge swing. I saw the double jump. Yeah. I was like, oh dear. Oh. Woo. Oh. Nice. Good DI from Red. Again, he's just a little bit hesitant going out there for the fox and the when sitting in a fire fox, he might as well go for it. Right. Especially now that red has opened up a really sizable lead. You might as well you have to make a play. That was a good short too. Yeah. Red just got all the confidence in the world. Oh, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Going the other direction, but still dying. Just like that. Like turnips. You basically, in order for your turnip to be worth it, you need to pull a stitch because 8% versus like three lasers is going to give 8%. But BMC, right. cooking. He's actually got some momentum back. Woo! Oh, how did that turnip not? Oh, good. That was crazy. I thought that turnip was going to snipe him. If it did, could have made this game a lot more interesting. Yeah. That would have been a really big turnip event. But right now, Red just flipping the combo. And a 54%. Yeah, 54%. Right. <laughs> All right. Like, look at that, he just put on two lasers, four lasers, and he picked up 11%. So, when you, as Peach, if you give Fox too much space, it's just not gonna go, it's not gonna end well for you. And a JV3 for Red. Right. I feel like, in general, like, uh, BMC does better against more aggressive people. People who come at him, because, like, he's so good at setting up a wall that he can just kind of wall people out. But uh -huh. Foxes uh, have, have wisened up. Yeah. They realize, hey, I don't, I don't gotta bump my head into that brick wall. Yeah. I can shoot it from a distance. Yeah, and also, from the few neutral openings that BMC got, he did a pretty solid job of putting together the combos. He had one, like, 80 percentage combo on his second, yeah, on his third stock, excuse me. His punish game is, is pretty good, man. Yeah. And again, he's still a rookie, technically. Yeah. If he just shores up the edge guarding we saw, and, I mean, there's only so much you can really do to get out of Red's combos, maybe. Right. To really smash that stick on the shines. Yeah, Mix be, up your SDI. You've got to be on that Armada level. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. It's a start. <laughs> both I like the respect right there. They're both stuck in the field. Yep. Red's playing really amazing though. Mm. Although I'm sure Red's probably thinking playing so bad. Yeah. Red's a little perfectionist. You know I mean? Oh my god, eating every hit. Yep. Held that stick down, took 35%. <laughs> It's like if you seen that GIF of Ice versus uh, Ice versus Armada, where Ice just does like seven or eight wave shines for thirty percent, and then Armada does one down smash, and it's the same amount. Yeah, I it's see so that. dumb. Oh, that was almost really bad. Red could have just grabbed ledge. He probably should have, but uh, he wanted to get the little emphasis on that shine. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes in, in, in Smash, people get in this mindset. Uh, where they, they don't want their opponent to die, they want to kill them. Like yeah. they're, they're, they have murderous intent. <laughs> and it can cost you sometimes. Yeah. Now you're better off just them take care of themselves. You don't got to get that last hit. Yeah, just hold, ledge. hold that ledge. Yeah. Hit that R button. It's free. Yeah. Oh, and Red just really u effectively utilizing platforms, just sort of staying above BMC, dropping down, shooting some lasers. Yeah, he's just chilling. Oh, don't be doing that, Red. We get a chill in my feet. It's such good control right there in the re Yeah. Right. Whenever BMC's been in a quarter, Red has done a phenomenal job of keeping him there. 
whether it's just through Nair Shield Pressure or just putting him in there with the Wave Shines. He did overshoot that one just by a little bit. And that flub, nice coverage. Did get the jump back, just barely touched. Not this, oh he did, but he immediately burned it. Right, BMC needs to take the stock if he wants to have any hope of uh, bringing it back. 102%. That power shield was probably the most clutch of the set. Yeah, that was huge. That would have been... So now basically BMC can still even up the stocks. Whoa. Ooh, we got some... Dropping I, guess, I think it's just our monitor, thankfully. It looks oh, okay. pretty clean on the, on the big screen. That was... I got nervous for a yeah, second. Yeah, me too. MVP. Oh, and great patience to see again. Just Red just chilling and literally just waiting for the right moment and getting him with the back air. Both of the air dodge coming down and when he's floating unsafely. Good stuff to Red. He's got a full stock. I thought he had a stitch. He was really holding on to that turtle. Yeah. I was like, is that a stitch face? Oh, there you go. Oh, goes oh, the wrong the way. Read. I mean, it was a 50 50, right? He's yep. picked one. Oh, and if, oh, kicks! All kinds of kicks! All kinds. Wow. <laughs> he just doesn't even bother to jump. Oh, oh the most casual power shield. Yeah, kind of. I'm disrespected, my boy. I mean, Red's awesome, my boy. You know what I mean? I've been Red for a while now, but Ooh, there you uh -oh, go. BMC's like uh, it's not over yet. Huh? All right, now just grab That's ledge. It. Just grab ledge. There you go. All right. And if he pulls a stitch, he, he can take. He can bring this back. Yeah. One air down smash, one stitch face. So Red's yeah. got to be careful about giving BMC too much space now, because you don't yeah. you want to mitigate the threat. Because now you're playing the uh, the, the lottery right now. Exactly. Like up smash is gonna kill. It's it's at the point where it's going to kill. It's not going to change. So you might as well. The laser game really isn't adding that much to the equation. Maybe these straight back airs would kill, but still. You can just continue. Yeah, just short hop, react. Oh, and exhausting the LB really early. This could do it. Oh! oh that down smash came out so fast! That was super fast. Uh-oh. Uh oh, opportunity here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no jump! Oh, still no jump. Oh my goodness. Oh, is BMC gonna bring this back? Oh, the oh, man! The Mewtwo King angle just goes right up that ledge. Still living though. Still just needs one edge guard opportunity and a conversion. But he's gotta be super careful. Not Red is respecting. Red's like, I'm not getting in there oh, unless I know. Oh. Oh man, I'm nervous. Oh, he pulls a stitch. Was that a stitch? I think it was a stitch. Or maybe it wasn't. Oh, oh and again, that's actually, oh my gosh, one fair. Oh, that's still living. Oh my god, Dreamland, please. Oh, that's oh, it. Man. Wow. And red. Yeah, BMC had a couple of opportunities.